Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at the Internet Key Exchange, also known as IKE. We'll be discussing the IKE protocol, phase one and phase two key negotiation, phase two negotiation of the security associations. And finally, we're going to take a look at the pieces of the IKE, IKE phase one and phase two. This episode is part of my series on network security for the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. Internet Key Exchange, also known as Ike, I-K-E. Ike enhances IPsec by adding features and simplifies configuration for the IPsec standard. Ike is a hybrid protocol that implements key exchange protocols inside the Internet Security Association Key Management Protocol, also known as ISACAM framework. Instead of transmitting keys directly across the network, Ike cal calculates shared keys based on the exchange of a series of data packets. UDP port 500 packets must be permitted on any IP interface that is connecting a security gateway peer. Ike uses ISACAM for phase one and phase two of the key negotiation. Phase one negotiates a security association or a key between two Ike peers. The key negotiated in phase one enables the IKE peers to communicate securely in phase two. During phase two negotiation, IKE establishes keys, the security associations, for other applications such as IPsec. In phase one, two IPsec peers perform the initial negotiations of the security associations. The basic purpose of phase one is to negotiate the ISACAM policy, authenticate the peers, and set up a secure tunnel between the peers. This tunnel will then be used in phase two to negotiate the IPsec policy. IKE phase two is called quick mode and can only occur after IKE has established a secure tunnel in phase one. Quick mode negotiates the IKE phase two security associations. In this phase, the security associations that IPsec uses are unidirectional. Therefore, a separate key exchange is required for each data flow, one in each direction. The great thing about internet protocol security, also known as IPsec, is that it secures data at the network layer. Whereas a lot of other security mechanisms secure data at the application layer. In this aspect, it's truly a network security mechanism, securing end-to-end -end communications across the network. IPsec involves four elements, confidentiality, integrity, authentication, and a secure key exchange. Confidentiality is provided through encryption. And this brings up another great aspect of IPsec. As a security suite of protocols, it's not restricted to any one mechanism. So as new encryption standards are developed, they can be incorporated into the IPsec security suite. You can see that the encryption algorithms, such as the data encryption standard, also known as DES, we have triple DES, means three times the DES. We have advanced encryption standard, AES, or software optimized encryption algorithm, known as SEAL, are now incorporated into the IPsec standard. Whereas confidentiality ensures that information is not, not seen, integrity, we have integrity here, integrity ensures that the information was not altered or changed, that this is provided through hash message authentication code, typically or also known as HMAC, message digest, MD5, or the secure hash algorithm, also known as SHA. SHA-256 is the standard that's acceptable today. Authentication or authenticity ensures that information that's sent from a trusted third party. In IPsec authentication, that authentication is handled by either internet key exchange known as Ike. Now in Ike, we can either use pre-share keys. So PSKs, we can use the Rivas Shamir Adelman 
signatures or RSA signatures. Or the other choice we can use is public key encryption, PKE. IPsec also provides secure key exchange through the Diffie-Hellman algorithms, which allow the public exchange of keys securely. I hope you're liking this episode on Internet Key Exchange. If you have the time, please leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Internet Key Exchange. You can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. The main protocols in IPsec are authentication header, encapsulation security payload, and security associations. Authentication header, also known as A8, that provides integrity and authentication and secures the IP header. Encapsulation security payload, also known as ESP, provides confidentiality and secures the entire payload. Security associations, also known as SA, are an extremely important aspect of the IPsec protocol. Security associations negotiate and establish the bi-directional communication by negotiating the security parameters, the IPsec parameters, authenticating peers, exchanging keys, generating keys. It uses the Internet Security Association Key Management Protocol, also known as ISACAM, the Internet Key Exchange, and the Digital Certificate. So it uses ISACAM, ICE, and Digital Certificates. Internet Key Exchange Phase 1, or IKE Phase 1, happens in main mode or aggressive mode. In main mode, the identity of the IPsec peers is hidden. In aggressive mode, the identities are vulnerable to network sniffing. IKE Phase 1 follows these steps. One, the IPsec peers authenticate each other. This can happen through pre-shared keys, which you have to enter in manually. We can use the Rivas, Shamir, Adelman signatures or RSA signatures. You can use digital certificates, which are verified by the certificates of authority and public key encryption. Or we can also use PKE, which are RSA encrypted nonces. And a nonce here is a randomly generated number. Second step here is to negotiate a matching IKE, Internet Key Exchange Security Association policy. This is the main goal of IK. This is the main goal. Start over. This is the main goal of IKE phase one to generate an IKE security association or policy. This protects that exchange. The third one here is to perform an authenticated Diffie-Hellman exchange resulting in matching shared keys. And lastly, set up a secure tunnel to negotiate IKE phase two. Internet key exchange phase two has one mode, quick mode. First, IKE negotiates the IPsec security association parameters. This is already protected by an existing IKE security association from phase one. Two, establish IPsec security associations and generate the security keys both inbound and outbound. Three, periodically renegotiate IPsec security associations when the security association time, lifetime expires. And then four, optionally, perform an additional Diffie-Hellman exchange. Quick mode provides replay protection through the exchange of nonces. Replay protection protects against an attacker, an, an attacker capturing the security associations and key exchanges and then resending them, thereby authenticating themselves. An optional capability is perfect forward secrecy. So perfect forward secrecy. And this allows a new Diffie-Hellman exchange to be created with each quick mode. This does cause a bit of a hit to performance and an additional load on your CPU. 
those are the basics of IPsec and Internet Key Exchange Phase 1 and Phase 2. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on the Internet Key Exchange. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, techify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security for the CCNA. I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.